Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Taylor with an E. And if you want to see how we went from all of this to all of this, go ahead and keep on watching. starting with some chicken breast honestly this purdue chicken breast is the best chicken breast that i have ever had in my whole entire life so i'm going to wash it and clean it with some water and some vinegar i'm currently struggling to open this pack up but y'all let me tell you the purdue chicken breast is where it is at We're washing that with vinegar and then I have some salmon and I'm gonna clean that with vinegar too so now we're going to season some stuff we got some olive oil garlic powder salt Himalayan salt black pepper slap your mama Cajun seasoning so we are going to take these little seasonings little seasonings we're gonna take these seasonings and season this chicken on both sides. I was trying to be cute and not get my hands dirty while doing this, but it didn't necessarily work out. So I ended up using my hands anyways, but I'm going to season both sides of the chicken and then massage the olive oil in there. So our seasonings could get up in there and we have some flavor. Now we're going to use some of the same seasonings that we used from before. Olive oil, garlic powder, the pink Himalayan salt, pepper. But this time we're going to add some Italian seasoning. And this is what we're going to use to season our salmon. Do y'all say the L in salmon or do y'all say salmon? Because it's definitely salmon. But I did add some lemon juice to this salmon as well. And then once we are done with that, we're gonna set it to the side. I am putting my salmon in the air fryer. To be honest, this is the easiest way to make my salmon because it's easy. Emphasis is easy and it's very quick. You press one button and I'm gonna cook. So for my chicken, I am using my cast iron skillets and i'm gonna put some uh, garlic minced garlic on the bottom and then i have some crunchy onion chili flakes from trader joe's and we're gonna let that simmer a little bit before we put that chicken on there we got a little spice we got a little garlicky flavor and then we're just gonna set that chicken breast in that skillet and then we're going to let it cook and brown And another thing, I know y'all see my skillet look like that, but don't come for me. Don't come for me because I do clean it and, you know, it just happens. Now that our meats are cooking, I'm going to fill up two bowls with water. One bowl is going to be for rice. And I'm saying bowls and I mean pots because these are definitely going to boil. But one pot is for water and one pot is for eggs. I don't know why I put my eggs in here like this. I normally put my eggs in and then the water. But this is what happened. Then I'm gonna put the rice on the stove. Y'all, I made a huge mess of this rice, but I'm gonna mix that up, cover it up, and then let it cook. Now I'm going to chop up some red potatoes, and this is gonna go with my salmon and my vegetable of choice, which was 
asparagus, but we'll get to that later. So I just diced the, not diced, but I just cut these into thin-ish circles. And now we're gonna season them. Okay, so yeah, I had to add some curry in there because the curry seasoning just makes it chef's kiss. Like, if you know, you know. And if you have not tried it, then I highly recommend that you try seasoning your potatoes with a little bit of curry powder because it just gives it a whole new flavor. So I'm gonna toss all of that in some olive oil and get it all set to put in the oven. And we're going to bake these potatoes at least for 25 minutes. Franchise. Okay, so switching back over to our rice, it's almost fully cooked. So I'm gonna add a Goya seasoning packet to this just to give it some flavor because you know brown rice sometimes don't have a flavor. And then we're just gonna mix that up in there and then cover it and let it cook. Our eggs are done boiling, so I'm just rinsing these off with cold water and I'm gonna set them to the side. I do use my boiled eggs as a snack and then I'm also making tuna, so that boiled egg is gonna go in the tuna as so well. So now our rice is all done. I'm just mixing it up to see if it's all good, and it is. And I definitely made too much, but it's okay, because it got eight. Moving on to our vegetables. I am cutting up a cucumber, and we are going to be using this for a salad. So prepping a few things for our salad. Now I'm cutting up a red pepper. Y'all, to be honest, I don't know the correct way to cut up a red pepper, but this is how I like to cut mine and dice mine. And I finally, finally chopped it because I am making a salad dressing with it. The next few ingredients that you do see me chopping up are going to go in my homemade salad dressing. And then once I'm done chopping them up, we are just going to put them in the blender, blend it up with some olive oil and some red vinegar and keep it pushing. Okay, so I decided to tell y'all what I'm cutting up because I don't think, I don't want to say some of y'all don't know, but you might not. So I did use a shallot and a shallot is almost like a baby onion. It's like a mix between a regular onion and a red onion, but it has so much flavor and it smells so good. And this right here is just some oregano, some fresh oregano, which also smells so good. And then I added some of this stuff to these black beans that I cooked. I added some oregano to the black beans and some of the shallot and baby and some garlic. I forgot. Baby. Great. 10 out of 10. Recommend. Now I'm going in with my asparagus. I like to just break off the ends because they kind of be hard sometimes. And yeah. 
Once I do that, I'm going to toss it in some olive oil and a um, nice little pan with some garlic at the bottom. And then we're gonna put the asparagus in there and just let it cook with the lid covered. The last thing that I'm going to be making is tuna. And I like to eat tuna as a snack, but this time around, I made a tuna sandwich with some spinach and lettuce, and it was so good. So I cut up some more shallots and some more garlic to add to the tuna. And listen, let me put y'all on real quick. Boar's head pickles, and you can only get them from the deli. They don't sell boar head, boar's head pickle chips. Best thing ever. And you put that in this bowl and it smells and it tastes so, 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 so yummy. So I like making my own relish with that boar's head pickles and then putting it in my tuna. So for my tuna, I'm using mustard, mayonnaise, an egg, some garlic powder, some salt, and some pepper to season it. I added a little bit of lemon juice as well, just so that way it's a little bit of moisture in there. But I add all that up and I mix it up. y'all here's my feast so this meal got me through a week at least three days it got me through three days and yes so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like please comment please subscribe and i'll see you in the next upload